as we've seen many times over, you never know what to expect out in the water. Kind of like this wild scene here that was caught in Porto Heli in Greece a little over a week ago when a crew of eight was out on a yacht when all of a sudden the vessel was struck by lightning, causing it to be engulfed in flames as seen here. Fortunately, all eight passengers that were on board the vessel at the time were able to successfully get off, but again, just another wild scene out there on the water, just like some of the wild scenes we'll see in this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. Our first story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to Iowa, where this was the wild scene just a little over a week ago on West Okaboji Lake where Leslie Whitehair and crew were out enjoying an evening by the water when all of a sudden the crew saw something a little strange as they saw a hot air balloon descending toward the lake, quickly pulled out the camera and started to record the scene. They quickly knew something was awry as it's obviously not very common for a hot air balloon to try and attempt to get this low over the water. The crew in the hot air balloon was definitely struggling with something. It was speculated that the hot air balloon was struggling due to a lack of wind to attempt to make it to its landing location. Leslie and her crew actually debate in the video that she has of getting in their boat and going out there and trying to assist the crew. But during this time, a vessel that already happens to be on the water comes over as a good Samaritan to kind of investigate and see what's going on with the hot air balloon. Here we can see they're actually tossing a line to the balloon and this crew winds up hooking their vessel up to the hot air balloon and towing it toward a nearby park to hopefully allow the balloon to land safely. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. I mean, it's cool, but very scary. I have to imagine it's a tense moment for both parties involved, as neither one has probably actually experienced this. I doubt the balloon's ever been towed by a boat, and I'm pretty sure the boat's never towed a balloon, making it a nerve-wracking event probably for both parties involved. But fortunately, the boat's able to successfully help the balloon get over to the shore, where they are able eventually to land this boat safely on the beach. Leslie's got a full 10-minute video on this event over on her YouTube channel. Just search Leslie White here. I'm sure you'll be able to find it. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to the coast of Turkey, where this was the scene just a little over a week ago when the Hong Kong registered dry bulk carrier New Legend was entering an anchorage near Istanbul when all of a sudden it failed to stop in time and wound up colliding with another vessel that was already at anchor. Here we can see the 752 foot bulker trying to work its way into the anchorage and in front of it we're going to see the Elbson, a small Portuguese registered container ship. And as we're about to witness, the vessel just couldn't get stopped in time and winds up running into the stern of the Elbson, leaving a large dent in the Portuguese ship. Turkish authorities have begun to investigate the incident to try and determine the cause of the accident. But one thing of note, this was actually the second accident similar to this in the exact same day, raising concerns from Turkish authorities over possible ship-to-shore communication issues and navigational issues in this area. Now, both ships only suffered minor damages, and fortunately, no injuries were reported in the incident, but still a wild scene. I mean, these vessels are kind of hard to miss out there on the water. Makes you wonder what really went wrong. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to Hawaii, where as many of you know this past month, wildfires ran rampant throughout the islands, but primarily in the island of Maui. But not only did it affect homes and people's livelihood on land, it also did the same on water, as Hawaii has a very strong boating community in many different ways, including private vessels, but also commercial vessels, commercial fishermen, commercial eco-tours, and of course, inner island ferries that are key to traveling between the islands. And a lot of these facilities took massive hits during these fires as well, such as the facility we're seeing right here, which is the Lahaina Small Boat Harbor. The Coast Guard began doing assessments on this facility over the last couple weeks, trying to determine the best course of action to get it back open. This is typically a busy small port, housing as much as 100 boats at a shot. But some of the key things it has are typically commercial tour boats go out of here. But not only that, they just did a $15 million renovation to add ferry terminals at this facility for inner island travel. Of course, all of which has suffered massive damage from these fires. At this time, access to the harbor has been restricted by the Coast Guard and will remain restricted until a full assessment can be completed. Once the assessment is done, removal of debris, pollutants, and of course the sunk vessels will begin. And at that time, they will also begin the rebuilding process 
trying to repair the marina. At the time of the fire, there were approximately 99 moorings in the harbor, in addition to the $15 million ferry pier that opened earlier this year. But as we can see, the fires had pretty much washed out just about everything. There are a few boats that were lucky enough to make it through, but for the most part, this is full-scale damage really is a sad sight to see and our heartfelt prayers do out to the people of Hawaii as they try and rebuild from all the damage that was caused by these fires. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening on your waterways, be sure to hit us up on Facebook or Instagram and let us know and you might see your stories over here. Just like Dennis Unanis and Leslie Whitehair did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here. If not, we're coming to steal your drain plug.